Hey, welcome. I'm Tavleen from Excel Plugins and uh, we're now talking about the elements section in uh, uh, in Finale for WooCommerce and basically this particular section gives you a lot of extensions over and above uh, native WooCommerce. So now you can display a countdown timer on your product pages. You can display counter bar which shows the real time stock status of the items. Then you've, you can display the sticky header or the sticky footer which comes above or below and informs people about the ongoing offer in your uh, in your store. Right. Uh, and then within uh, the sticky header footer you can display countdown timers. Right. And then you can display like custom text so you can add custom text on your product pages uh, again to communicate with your uh, with your customers better to inform them about some ongoing deal or or an offer or the deal of the day campaign or all of that stuff right so a lot of uh, and then you can also add custom css using finale uh, in your woocommerce store so let us begin with the first option which is the countdown timer uh, i'm going to show you how it really works okay so First, let me just uh, uh, quickly update this and show you how it will appear on the front end. Right. So this is it. This is the kind of output that uh, I'm going to show you how you can achieve this on your WooCommerce product pages. Right. So firstly, we have uh, uh, we have enabled the visibility of the countdown timer. Uh, then uh, you can uh, define the position of the countdown timer. Uh, you've got quite a few options here. You can set it below the title, be above the title, below the title, below the review rating, below the price or below the short description below the add to cart button or none of them at all right so right now as you can see we've chosen below the price so it's appearing right below the price right so this is this is the timer that we're talking about this heading is also part of uh, part of it and is also coming from the back end here uh, again you've got few options for countdown timer skins i can show you some of them at the moment we've selected square fill which is what is appearing on the front end you've got round coast or square coast highlight Light round fill default right so we've chosen square fill right now uh, and then we have uh, got the back background color selected and the label uh, as you can notice the background color is black the label color is white so that's what you choose from here then the timer font size and label font size you can choose you can leave it to default uh, if you don't want to uh, change uh, change all these timer labels days hours mins right so here we've got days hours mins you can change it to uh, you can change it to d h h mm right so based on what you what you like and what you want uh, this is the display text which comes right above the countdown timer this is the merge tag for the countdown timer because of this this timer is getting printed here right and this is the text which comes right above the display of the timer so it's a black friday sale get 15 percent off before the counter strikes zero so that's the message that we would like to display uh, you can add a border uh, border if you want so border style uh, we set it to none at the moment but if you want you can have a nice border around it let me just make some changes and show you so i've changed the timer labels here i can change this to round fill uh, well then i can set a border here i can set a dashed border here uh, which is um, uh, yeah a red colored border here right so i will show you how the, how the changes get displayed on the front end uh, before that here's another option which is the advanced option so enable this to dis delay showing the countdown timer so if you want uh, to delay the countdown timer well you can always do that so let's say you've got a you got a five day sale but you only want the countdown timer to come on when there are just 48 hours left before the sale gets over right you do not want uh, the countdown timer to be switched on for all five days so you can then enable this to delay showing the countdown timer and then add the number of hours um, until which you wouldn't like to show the countdown timer right so that is also a possibility uh, again so let me just update this and show you how the changes uh, print on the front end all right, so here we are. We've got a border here, a dashed red color border here, and then we've got the labels changed, right? So this is the ticking countdown timer. Of course, I think the previous one was looking much better. So you, I'm going to revert back to the to what it was, uh, and I do not want any uh, border here, so I'm going to go with none. All right, so that's it. Here we are. So this is how it's going to appear, and it looks much more aesthetic now. Uh, let's look at the next option, 
so I'm going to just uh, yeah I'm going to go and click on show counter bar so again counter bar uh, it's got very similar options just like countdown timer uh, I'm going to display it uh, below the price you can choose it anyhow you like you could even uh, let me show you the option uh, show it below the shop description right these are the, count the counter bar skins again just different options for skins uh, edges rounded smooth sharp now sticky header now first of all it asks you about the visibility if you want to hide it on mobile tablet or desktop you can choose any of these if you want this to be hidden anywhere uh, then the background color uh, well I've just chosen it as black you can choose a different color as you like uh, then you've got the headline here great time to visit us today so here's the headline right and uh, this is the font size the color colors you can notice is white right now right and then this is the sub headline it's legally a street steel get 20% off all our exclusive products right so this is how the sub headline would appear uh, you can choose to hide the sub headline on mobile so it has been it is actually a, a, a mobile responsive element right if you want you can hide the sub headline on mobile right uh, then a uh, countdown timer so as you can notice a countdown timer is ticking right now you could also choose to have it without the countdown timer so if you simply want to inform people or if there's something which is not a time limited offer or you do not want to show the countdown timer for any reason uh, well then go ahead and uh, simply check this box and the countdown timer will get disabled but if you want to show it then it gives you a lot of options to uh, configure the skin of the countdown timer right so currently we've got uh, we've got round fill this one uh, you can change it uh, of course uh, the background color at the moment is gray uh, it's 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 actually a little darker gray and uh, the label the label which is this days hours mins seconds this one is label it's white in color this is the font size for both of them these are the timer labels right you can choose to have a border around it but uh, uh, you have the options here dotted dash double solid uh, or none right and then alignment left right center you can choose uh, the alignment right show this header after one second so there could be a delay the idea is that it should catch people's attention so uh, once after this um, the page has loaded the header will now appear one second uh, it'll have a delay of one second so the idea is to catch people's attention right so while they're scrolling through or while they're browsing stuff it it, it just uh, it appears from the top and it uh, catches their eye right so that's that's that and uh, you can also enable a button here so you could uh, just say uh, get the offer or something like that you can have a button here and uh, to the call to action button you can define a url so that when people click on it they land on a certain page right uh, it's extremely useful for example if you've got a you've got a deal going on and then you want to direct people to that specific page right away so then you can have a button here which uh, directs people to that page they don't have to waste a lot of time so just just something get the offer they click on it and that's the first thing that they are able to do so having information having very clear information on the sticky header means that you're giving people the most important information first right if you have a christmas special sale going on or a deal of the day going on or a happy hour campaign going on you want to make sure that you tell your visitors that this is what is happening in my store right now and it is a time limited deal so just about you know, you know like here seven hours are left before the deal expires so i want you to take fast action because the deal is all set to expire just in about seven hours right and at the same time you're giving them a call to action button which directs them to that specific page where the ongoing promotion uh, is uh, where, where the promotion is going on right so that they can actually take fast action so the idea is to nudge them is to take them to the finish line is to is to uh, kind of move them uh, from the fence off the fence right and onto the buying side then the next is a sticky footer if you want you can enable sticky footer as well all the options are very similar to what is there in the sticky header right uh, except for the fact that it will come at the bottom here and of course uh, people can al always cross this and then it will stop appearing to go away right uh, then you've got custom text here so in custom text you can add a, 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 a specific text uh, if you want to inform people about something particular, uh, you know, you can always inform them here. So it could be, uh, it's a Black Friday deal. All stocks, all items are in limited stock. Acts fast. 
So this is maybe a little information that I want to share with my with my customers, right? Or it could be a product specific information. So I only want it to appear on this uh, on, on, on a specific product, right? I don't want the custom text to appear on all the products uh, across the store, but only on a specific product. So maybe uh, if it's a if it's a uh, a specific product, then I could say these are Halloween special chocolates, right? And they will not be available after October 31st. So what I'm essentially telling them is that these are special Halloween special chocolates. They won't be available after October 31st. So I want uh, people to, uh, I want this message to be only, uh, only appear on a specific product page and not on all products. All right, so this is how uh, this is how it will appear, and it clearly says these are Halloween special chocolates, and they will not be available after October thirty first, right? So this is a custom message which is only for this particular product, right? So uh, that's that. Uh, now you've seen the countdown timer, counter bar, sticky header, footer, and you've also seen the custom text, right? Uh, in custom text, I would also like you to know that you can change the position of this particular message. Uh, at the moment, it's right below the price, so it's coming right below the price. You can change it to uh, whatever you like this is a custom message you can change the background color so as at the moment it's white and the text color is about uh, darker gray right and uh, we've got the font size as 16 there's a border around it which is dotted and it is red in color so you can configure this custom text box and uh, um, yeah you can you can change it to whatever you like all right so these are all the options that you've got right and then custom css is for adding your custom uh, code right um then you've got the rule builder section over here uh, so you can use the rule builder section basically to restrict these elements to certain pages or products or cat product categories right so you can restrict the appearance of these elements right so you could show you could choose to show it always so the always option is is uh, definitely there uh, then you can show it on uh, products so you can handpick certain products where you would like these options to be shown now you must notice we've got a sticky header section here now sticky header is what uh, the, the sticky header is what appears at the top uh, like this now you might want to show this sticky header on all the pages well then you'll have to configure sticky header and say always over here and then it will be visible on all the product pages uh, your home page your about page your blog posts everywhere right um, but yeah the only difference being if you want that the discount should be applicable on hand-picked products right so you want to uh, apply the discount on hand-picked products but you want the sticky header to always be shown well in that case you will have to set up two separate campaigns campaigns one where you will say that uh, apply this uh, discount of uh, let's say I don't know 15% on products and then you want to uh, uh, enter the products here the specific products where you want uh, the discount to be applicable right so this is how you're going to configure this and in that case you're going to turn off the sticky header and simply update this and then you're going to come back and schedule a new campaign that will be just for the sticky header alone and uh, right in that you're going to say no discount you're simply then going to go on and uh, uh, turn on the sticky header what you must remember is that the schedule for both these campaigns should be the same so it should the start date and end date should be the same and only then will it make sense right uh, I, so in that case you will say always so the sticky header will always be visible so two separate campaigns uh, one with the discount and in the rule builder select the specific products where the discount uh, where you want to apply the discount second campaign turn off the discount it's only for configuring the sticky header and and uh, in, in that, you're going to go scroll below and in the rule builder, you're going to say always, right? Uh, another case could be that you're setting up a store-wide sale. Well, in that case, it makes perfect sense. So you're going to go and set just one campaign, schedule it, set the discount, and uh, then you're going to go and select um, elements. And in elements, you're going to configure the sticky header, right? And you're going to simply select always here. So it's a store-wide discount. You're not just you want the discount to be applicable on all the products, right? But you also want the sticky header to be showing on all the product pages, home page, uh, blog posts, about page, and everywhere else, right? So that is how that's done. So that's about it from the elements tab. We've covered all the elements. And um, yeah, that's it. I really hope that you enjoyed learning. Uh, happy selling.